From the project timeline, we can view everything that is planned for the individual projects that we're tracking. To the left, there is a control that allows to zoom in and out of the timeline. Right now, we're looking at the weeks view, but we can also choose to go in further by clicking on days or zoom out by clicking months. We can open the filter panel by clicking on the filter button in the top right. Here we can decide to narrow down the timeline and only view certain projects. We can also decide which level of granularity we want to see and can choose from events, milestones, projects and tasks. Let's examine them in more detail. If we toggle on projects, we'll see a bar representing the start and end date of projects in FTRAC. Each bar is coloured based on its project colour. When we click on milestones, all important milestones of the project appear. Next to the milestone, we have the name. To bring up the next level of granularity, we can click on events. This will show us all events of the project that we're tracking. They represent the different phases and give a rough plan of the project. Events are displayed as striped bars in the same colour as the project. We can see the name of the event and how much time it's estimated to complete. If there are users allocated to the event, we'll see those too. If we place the mouse over the event, a tooltip will appear with more details. We can also see a zone here that stretches across all projects. This represents a leave event where all users are unavailable for work. To see an additional level of detail, we can toggle on tasks. This will show all tasks on the project. Tasks display a solid coloured bars with information about the name and where in the project structure they exist. The number on the task is the bid, the hours we have estimated it will take to complete this task. If there are users assigned to the task, we'll see those. And if we place the mouse over the task, a tooltip will appear with more details. We can double click on an item in the timeline if we want to get more information or change something. A new milestone can be added by double clicking on the timeline. From here, we can give the milestone a name. The project will already be filled in based on where we clicked. We can set the type and status of the milestone and assign someone to it. When we click create, the milestone will display in the schedule. If we need to move the milestone, we can just click and drag it. In a similar way, if we want to create a new phase, we can click and drag in the timeline. A dialog will appear again, and from here, we can fill out the details for the event. You can give it a name, associate it with a type, and allocate users. To change the start or end date of a task, or an event, we can either resize it by clicking on the edges, or move the entire event by clicking on it and dragging to where we want it. Let's now look at the same information, but from a user perspective. By clicking on users, we can now see the complete schedule of all users in FTRAC. Using filters, we can focus on a group of users, but since we only have five, we'll keep it as it is. We have similar controls to zoom into the page, or focus on events to see what projects our users are working on or to see individual tasks that a user is assigned to. In this view, we can also see leave events, where a person is not available. It can be due to paternity leave, a vacation, or anything that makes the person unavailable for work. In the following video, we'll cover how to extend the built-in functionality of FTRAC using the API.